there everyone, my name is Crow, and welcome to Let's Play Frederick, The Resurrection of Music. This is a rhythm based game, and I've wanted to do a solo game for a while now, and I've been trying, and every game I seem to play by myself, usually it just doesn't feel like it should be uploaded. And you know how I feel about giving you guys content that I don't feel like you deserve, um, in terms of being too bad for you guys to view. But I played through this game a little bit, and I am really happy with it. Essentially what it is, is it takes the music style of Frederick Chopin. I think that's how you pronounce it. Maybe it's Chopin or something like that. But um, it remixes his music in certain forms, depending on which artist you're going against. And they take inspirations from artists that are very well known, very popular, but they give them different names, obviously, to avoid copyright. And since all of this music is remixed, it is also free of copyright as well. So that's why I'm able to actually record this. But I'm gonna go new game, and being someone who's actually interested in rhythm games, I gotta say that this game has actually got a really reasonable amount of difficulty into it. I played through the Too Easy campaign, and it wasn't too easy, <laughs> as the name suggests, but it was relatively simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it on normal. Um, I'm gonna let the story, like, I'm gonna show you guys a story that way that this playthrough doesn't go by really quickly, because I can wipe through this game in, like, 15 minutes. So, just want to point out, the majority of the gameplay is probably not going to consist of me talking while I'm playing and while these are showing, because I have to focus when I'm doing rhythm, and I want you guys to actually hear what's being said in the story. This will be new to me too, because when I played through it before, I skipped the entire story just so I could watch it. So, right here, Frederick is being resurrected. He's being brought back to life to combat the evils of terrible music that we're currently uh, undergoing in this time. Obviously, he's very distraught by the technology of today. He has to let it catch up with him. In case y'all didn't know, Chopin or Chopin, very famous pianist. Very good music, actually. Greetings, Frederick. Who are you? It's us, the Muses, whom you asked for inspiration so many times. Netty, Hypetti, and Messi. We sense that you'd returned. We want to help you. Since you left, no other master has appeared. Dear ladies, I'm honored. I wanted to... Piano, quiet. We haven't got much time. We bring you artifacts of great power. They may not be blades on a chain, but they are also extraordinary and almighty. When you say our names, this carriage will take you to any place in this world. And this is your grand piano. We hid it so that it could wait for you when you return. A pocket-sized one, ideal for traveling. But when you take it out, it will revert to its natural size so that you can hone your skill whenever and wherever. Dear ladies, thank you for your gifts. I hope you can also tell me. Piano Frederick, time takes no prisoners. We have to go, or it might be too late. Something happened? You know, we're appearing in a Greek salad advert for a famous and influential fast food chain. Our careers depend on this. Oh, yes. But... A bit of humor there. Goodbye. Bye. And good luck. The hell with you. We have a Why job. Why am I here? Do. What am I supposed to do? This game kind of has a guitar Chopin, hero. You may not have the guard. Who are you? You should have stayed on the other side. There's no frequency for you here. Who are you? Jean, the greatest musician in the world. I'm honored. 
There's no place for you here anymore. I'm sure we could come to some kind of agreement. Okay. In that case, give him. Hand over the grand piano. That's not what I had in mind. Bow voluntarily before electronic powers. Give in, and I will leave you with remnants of consciousness capable of feeling something other than pain. Never! Unbending indeed. I have always admired you for that. But still, I will process you into a sample for my cyber bandwagon. Perfect for serenades. Stand for a musical duel. Anything but serenades. All right, let's play. This game kind of has a play style similar to that of Guitar Hero, but a story arc similar to that of Guitar Man. If you've ever played Guitar Man, you're awesome because you know true rhythm games. Frederick <laughs> versus Jean. Jean. All right. That was a hammer on. For those of you who are interested in the whole arrows next to the notes. fucked up the end <laughs> so that was the first song obviously the first song is going to be a lot easier and I was trying to be as focused as possible but I fucked up a few times Oh dear. Musicality. Musicality. Okay, so I got 97% accuracy, combo amount 10. I don't know what that means. I think it's supposed to like dictate your highest combo, but I've definitely hit higher than 10. So I think that it, after 10, it might just stay there. I don't know how that works exactly. I only got one star, I believe. That's what that means. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure what like. If it's relative to your score or what the case and that might be um, I think I'm using my uh, 
special ability a little bit too early. I think I should use it right before I come on big notes because I'm pretty sure when you use your special ability, it's the equivalent of using star power and where like your score is like doubled while you're hitting notes during that period. So I should probably hold on to that a little bit longer before I just... Master, enough, enough. I give up. I'll tell you everything. Then speak. Why did you attack me? It's not my fault. It's all because of him. He talked me into it. The one who brought you back. He said that if I defeated you, I'd be famous again, and I wouldn't have to leave off my pension. Who is this he? Why did he bring me back here? I don't know. He wore a mask and a hood. He said he had a great plan, and I would benefit from it. Maybe others no more. He said that if I didn't succeed, there were other musicians. He said he was flying to the world's capital of culture. Wait a minute. The cultural capital? That could be Paris, I guess. Hmm. You're obviously not from this century. Now all the big things are in the USA. He was talking about New York. How truly strange. America? I do need to know why I returned here. It's time to fetch the carriage. I'll fly to America. America. From his time being in Paris, probably can't possibly understand what's so important about America. And we're going to the Caribbean. This next character is a real treat for you reggae fans out there. Even if you're not a reggae fan, you should know who what this is. What a journey! The carriage may have been fast, but rather uncomfortable. I'll spend the night on this beach. Yo, man. Get those bad vibes off my beach. But I'm not sad. I have only been reflecting. You've been humming some blue tunes with a long face. Optimism rules here. This place makes me feel depressed, uneasy. It was a normal beach until you landed here to hum these nocturnes. But chill, I'll soon fix it. Ah, <laughs> Marley. See, old man, it's better already. Truly a powerful effect. Wait, don't I know you? What's your name, bro? <laughs> Frederick Chopin, at your service. Chopin? You ruined my childhood. When I was five, they told me to pluck the grand piano like you. Have you any idea how I suffered? Everybody played reggae, and I played the piano. But it wasn't me, it was them who made you. I couldn't pull any chicks with music like that. Then I suffered from depression for 30 years until I got enlightened. Now I'm like a born again man. Really? No, I still suffer from trauma. And now I'll paint you yellow, red, and green. Bob Marley. I like the little effect where he blows smoke in your face and Fred then the beach transforms. versus Rob! Pretty funny. Rob, of course. Let's see if this is a little bit more complicated. This game is pretty forgiving when you miss a note or two. But... When you do, it sounds like garbage. So I really don't like to miss notes, but I'm not going to perfect anything. I'll tell you that right now. I haven't been playing this game nearly long enough to do that.
talked it out. I don't know how I'm messing those up. I guess I'm not like pushing over quick enough. That's a good song, I like that one. Oh man. <laughs> the Leafs. <laughs> it's brilliant, really. Musicality. All right, well, I think I'm going to stop it here for this particular episode. I could go on playing this game forever, and if this gets a good enough reaction, I will play through the rest of this and then maybe go through the harder difficulties as well in, you know, another series or something like that. But I really enjoy playing these rhythm games, and I love the story behind it. Um, there was a game I played a long ago time ago. It was an RPG, and it was also dedicated to Chopin, and I was at a loss for words. It was amazing, too. But anyways, guys, I think that's going to be all for this one. I want to keep these relatively short, and I know the comics in between can take up some time. So thank you guys so very much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, let me know what you guys think on this particular game, whether you want me to do more or not. And until next time, guys, take it easy. I did, Dread. Yeah. You have been smited in the Paris Be smitten, love. Oh, God, that's correct. Get the fuck over here. <laughs> I can't see a damn thing. That's good. Oh, you killed my dick, Pickle! <laughs> <laughs>